Hey, what's up, you guys? It's MC Lego Boy here with a Lego Star Wars review. Haven't done one in a while. Um, this is a request from this kid, uh, JRock190, who's a close friend of mine, but don't go to his page at all, really. <laughs> There's nothing there. Anyway, um, this is a set 7153 Django Fat Slave 1. Comes with 258 pieces and was originally $50 when it first came out back in 2002. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna take down the instructions. Uh, don't have the box, because again, this was back in 2002. Um, but I'm gonna take down the instructions, move stuff so we can get it closer in. Woo, migration. Hmm. Like not right. There we go. Anyway, what? Okay, so, here we've got Django Fett and Boba Fett. Uh, Django Fett. Pretty cool. Uh, only version of him ever. Uh, you could probably make one out of the new Mandalorian Battle Pack. Just, like, swap out the purple arms and legs and stuff, maybe. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. Anyway. Uh, old revolver pistols. So, yeah, they didn't have uh, mini blasters back then. Uh, very cool looking. Um, what's really nice about this uh, minifigure is you take off his helmet, it's got a black face, but you're able to turn it around, and you've got Jenga Fett. So, I'm going to leave him like this, because that's how I'm going to have him being seated. So, anyway, very cool. Uh, yeah, uh, the helmet and the revolver things, I'll show you where to put those later. And then we got uh, Boba Fett as a young kid. So, not really much else to him, no printed back. Same with Jenga Fett, no printed bat. But still, very nice figures to have. Somewhat rare. Well, actually, they're very rare. They only came in one set. So, anyway, on to the set. Uh, first thing. Back in 2002, <laughs> these pieces first came out. Uh, they're very nice. So, um, I usually don't really like the randomly sloped pieces. Like these, I mean, th there's almost no creativity in it anymore, like, this is back in 2002, so, it, it's forgivable, the pieces like that anymore, you find them all the time, and I, I just kind of feel like it's a, it's cheating, there's no creativity in making these nice slopes, so, anyway, very cool. Yeah. It's a really cool thing. Um, right here, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but uh, my cat got to it and chewed it up a little bit in 2002. So, you find a piece 
that I show you in pretty much any review. Um, and it's got two marks on it or something. It's my cat's fault. I'm sorry. But, um, got some nice detailing all in there. Controls and everything. Uh, let's get Boba Fett. <laughs> well, Jango Fett and Boba Fett in there. Uh, Jango Fett's up in front. Just like that. And Boba Fett uh, just stands in the back right there. Put that back down. Uh, notice how the wings, they didn't really move all that much. I like this. You gotta move it like that, so that whenever you're flying around, you can pretty much just turn this 360 degrees, and almost nothing is going to happen to the wings. That's what I didn't really like about um, a bunch of the older, or, um, well, the older version and the newer versions of the Slave One. Because it just spun around. Nothing... It didn't stay in place. So, uh, wings. The wings are very cool. Those of you who are a fan of Bionicle... Wasn't in frame. Those of you that are fans of Bionicle will recognize this piece. It's both, um... Boba. It's Bahatu's uh, extra foot-toe thing. I don't remember what they're called. They're just extensions on his feet to help him kick stuff. So, that, that's very cool that Lego threw in some Bionicle pieces. Uh, random little widget thing. I don't know what it is. And now we're just going to do a bunch of chicken compartment stuff. Uh, well, uh, I like these two. Um, they're notched. So, you can do the whole battle stuff. I don't know what else. Anyway, now we're going to do a whole bunch of secret compartment stuff. Uh, we got two of these little doors. And this side, you store the little guns. Uh, if you were to have this thing on him, um, it didn't really specify where to put uh, this. If he wasn't wearing the helmet and jetpack. And... If he was wearing the home in a jetpack, it didn't specify where to store his hair. You can store his hair in there. That's pretty easy enough to do. Uh, sides open. Ah. You know what? Get off. There we go. I uh, got an engine thing in there. And it came with two of these missile things. <laughs> no way to shoot them out. But that's no problem for me. This is on display a lot. Um, then there are these things. Oh my. If you guys remember Attack of Clones, Jingo Fett never really used uh, big guns up here. 
whenever he was chasing Obi-Wan, he was actually using these things. Uh, very nice design. Got a little hover plate thing. Awkward background. Little plate thing. One of the yeah, it's it's, it's cool. It's got some cows. So. And then well, that's really about it for certain compartments, except for the ones on the back. On the back, you've got two things. you got this thing that's attached by a magnet, where you stand. There we go. This cool crate box thing, I don't know what it is, but it looks awesome, and it comes with these pieces. They just, they look cool. This is where I store the helmet. Take that, just put it back up on the side, maybe. Are you attached? Yeah. Oh my. It wasn't supposed to happen. Alright. Well, since you guys probably just saw some random thing happen... Here we go. Um... Right here... You got storage for bombs. Well, this thing is attached by a hinge. Bombs. So, as you're flying, I don't really know how that would work. I'm not sure how it works at all, really. I guess whenever he's trying to land or something, he just blows everything up and he's able to land without any issues. Uh, Alright. And then the back, you just got all the engine pieces and whatever that thing is. It's, um,. In the Clone Wars, it was used as an escape pod attachment thing. It's a boarding dock, basically. So that's cool. And that should pretty much wrap everything up. I uh, showed you all the functions. And everything, so... Yeah, this took 13 minutes. Longer than I would have wanted anyway. So... Anyway, this has been MC Lego Boy with 7153 Jenga Fett Slave One. Oh, wait, um, <laughs> forgot to say how I've got this, uh, positioned. Just an idea. Um, the wings. Are oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, the wings are positioned, or strong enough, I mean, so they can hold up the Slave 1, so whenever it's back up against something, you can do that. That looks really cool. Just want to point that out, and hopefully nothing else, uh, nothing else blows up. See you guys. Oh my god.